Welcome to this routine to build the roots of the body. We're going to be strengthening the joints, tendons, and muscles of the lower body, starting from the feet up through the lower legs, upper legs, knees, hips, lower spine, and even the core. This routine will include work from the ATG system created by Ben Patrick or Knees Over Toes Guy, as well as some Qigong, some Kung Fu movements, and other practices that help to not just build the resiliency in the physical body, but also in the mind and energy as well. So thanks for joining me on this routine. My name's Nick Loffrey. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We've got lots of great content like this already. Dozens and dozens of programs like this, as well as new ones coming out usually every week or two. So start off with your feet about shoulder width. We're going to start with just working on some mobility, starting with the ankles and feet. So just stand on one leg and just start to circle the foot. And really work on spreading and pointing the toes. Go the other direction. Think of this not just in the ankle, but the whole foot. You're kind of moving around the tendons and everything, getting some fluids and blood in there. Our other foot working on our balance, but feel free to hold on to something if you need to. Let's switch sides. Stand on one foot and circle the foot, ankle, toes. Some of it, so much of us, our toes are kind of dead, getting crammed into pointed shoes that are unnatural for our feet. Let's go the other direction here. You might notice I like to wear very open-toed shoes, not open-toed in that they're sandals, but open shoes that allow the feet to breathe and move. Let's bring the feet together and start to circle the knees. You can start small, make sure this doesn't hurt. All the exercise in this program, we want to go into a pretty good range of motion, but um, only as far as we can do without pain. Let's go the other direction here. So if you feel pain in any of these motions, make the motions smaller and smaller until you can do them without pain. And then see if you can build from there slowly over time. Step the feet out and give the hips a circle. Just starting with that mobility, working our way up from the feet through the knees to the hips and waist. Go the other direction. So I really recommend, as I was saying about feet, to practice either barefoot or wearing barefoot style shoes or sandals because we want our bones of our feet to open up and we don't want any shoes that are constricting that opening. Even socks sometimes can be constricting. Let's bring it to one side. This one's called star feet. This is actually just a physical therapy exercise. We're going to kick forward, diagonal, side, diagonal back, and straight back. Straight forward, diagonal forward, side, diagonal back, straight back. And you do it kind of jerky, like you're stopping and starting the motion. And this is actually meant to throw off your balance a little bit. So again, if you need to, hold on to a chair or something um, initially as we build the balance. And we'll switch feet. Find a nice wide base for the standing foot. Find the same thing. Five directions with the foot. Kicking and always stopping when it gets back to the inside of the other foot. Each kick throwing off our balance in a slightly different direction. So our standing foot and lower leg has to do a lot of work to keep up with all those changes in the center of gravity. Really great to strengthen that foot, build those roots from the ground up. Let's give it a shake. Come back to the center. And next we're going to start to strengthen the front of the shin, the tibialis muscle. So what you're going to do is step one foot back, one foot forward and start to pull your toes towards your shin. Now if you feel like you have no resistance here, you should feel like a little burn and effort on the front of the shin. You can actually send your hips a little back and lean forward slightly and that will give you a little more um, effort to work on. But you want to feel that front muscle of the shin, the tibialis, lighting up. This helps our deceleration when we're running and coming to a stop. Very good for protecting the knee. This one comes from knees over toes guy who's Pretty famous currently for helping thousands and thousands of people fix their knee damage, including myself, from damage I did 
during my years of yoga. Let's switch to the other side again. You can see I have a slight lean forward putting weight into that heel and that weight is what gives a little bit of resistance as I lift those toes. And you're just lifting them as high as you can, getting them as close to the shin as you can, slow and controlled. All right, let's shake it out. Back to the center. And I'm using this stick, but most of you, a wall is gonna be more convenient, or even a chair. What you're gonna do is put your hands against the wall. You can use it to hold yourself up, and we're gonna lift our heels <clears throat> coming onto the toes, and we're essentially gonna to start to do calf raises. And notice as I'm raising my calves, my knees are ahead of my toes. Now you might not start there, you might start a little back behind the toes or just over the toes, but you wanna to build to the point that the knees are past the toes. What we're doing is extending the heel back all the way till there's a stretch in the calf, but not touching the floor, and then flexing the calf so that heel lifts as high as it can. And we're really trying not to bend and straighten the knees too much. The knees and the thighs aren't doing much work the calves doing all the work and they're going to complete stretch as they go back with the heels. Again, much easier with a wall than a stick. But I got this stick from my buddy Nate Guadani at bowyoga.com. He sells these cool sticks and does yoga and qigong and stuff with them. All right, let's take a wide stance for this next one. This one getting a little more into basic strength. We're going to do a side lunge. So you can start real small like I'm showing you here. We're just bending into one knee. The toes are turned outwards, so our knee tracks with our toes. And if you like, you can sink a little deeper here, bringing the hips down to the height of the knee or even a little lower if you want more challenge. And if you want to get all kung fu about it, you can throw in this cool um, prayer position with the hands. You can throw in your breath, exhaling down, inhaling up. But you want to come to a level here that you don't feel any pain in the knees or hips. And let's point our toes forward. And let's just stretch before we go to the other side. Toes point forward. That's what gives you the hamstring stretch. And then we'll roll up. Point the toes a little out again. This just makes it a little safer for your knees. And again, you can do just a very small squat into one side or make it a little wider and deeper. But again, really listen to your knees, listen to your hips, find a level that works for you with no pain, except the discomfort in the muscles from exerting them, but no pain in the joints. Let's finish that with a forward fold again. Toes point forward, find a stretch, open up those hamstrings and lower back. Nice deep breath here. And let's roll up. Good, give it a little shake, step back in. We're gonna have our feet about hip width. This next one, we do a cross step into a lunge. So we're gonna step back and across the center line and then sink down a little bit. So don't worry about the hands too much at first. We're stepping back and behind the other ankle or the other heel. So we step off the center line. You notice if you watch the yoga mat here, I'm, step, I'm not stepping on the yoga mat, but I'm going past the center line and off the yoga mat. And again, you can either sink a lot or just a little bit. So if you wanna go all the way, that knee will come down to the ground below the hip. And so this, again, building some basic strength in the quads and hamstrings and glutes, but also here working a little bit more of the um, rotators around the hip, some stabilizer muscles with this slightly awkward angle, giving some strength to support the knees and hips. And then bring our feet back together, toes point forward, and let's fold and stretch again. 
nice deep breath here. <sighs> and we'll roll up, give it a shake, step back to neutral. Next we're going to come down to the ground. And I'll mirror you here, so bring your left foot into your right thigh, your right foot back behind you by your hip. And you're just going to kind of lean forward, putting a little bit of your weight into that left knee and left shin. And just kind of see how that feels, see how far you can go, make sure there's no pain. And then try with your hands on the floor, lifting the hips for a second. And each of these are just different levels. You can try lifting the hips and then taking the hands away even, or lifting the hips without the help of the hands at all. So feel free to stay at any of those levels. We're just going to do a few reps here. You're either just leaning forward and bringing a little bit of weight into the shin, or you're using your hands to help yourself lift the hips up, or you can come up with no help of the hands at all. But you should feel this working your glutes. Again, building some strength and stability around the hips. Then come over that left knee with your chest and fold and stretch those same muscles we were just working. Sort of like a chill version of a pigeon pose here, getting a nice glute stretch. Again, careful with your joints. If you feel pain in the joints, that's not what we're going for. So always feel free to back off. Now let's switch sides. Right foot in against the left thigh, left foot in by the um, hip there. Try just a little weight in the right shin and knee. See if that feels okay. If there's no pain, then you can progress. Try lifting the hips just a little bit using the help of the hands on the ground. And then maybe lifting with the help of the hands and then taking them away. And if that feels okay, then no hands at all. So any of those four levels, feel free. You want to have it go where there's no pain, but there is still some challenge. And we gradually build from there over time. Having had knees that don't work and knees that do, there's a huge quality of life difference. So stick with these exercises, especially if you have pain or anything that's not working in the lower body. Now let's come over and stretch over that right knee. You should feel the stretch in the right glute area, not at your knee. And remember to stay tuned. After this video comes out, I'll be publishing within about a week, and over a couple of weeks, a whole series. Let's come up, shake it out. We'll have a few videos working on the bulletproofing the lower body. Let's do a few hip circles. <clears throat> Circle the hips, feet about shoulder width. After a few repetitions, go the other way. Just integrating what we've been doing down there in the hips. And this next one is a Qigong exercise called the Iron Bridge. You're going to take your palms to your sacrum, the back of your hips. You're going to push your hips forward. Lean your chest back and tuck your chin in, reaching up and back through the crown of your head. So don't let your head fall back, but tuck that chin in and reach up. This is to lengthen and strengthen the spine and core. So we're just going to hold here for just a breath or two. And then we're going to fold forward, bounce in the knees, swing the arms, and release the back muscles. We'll come back up and chill. Now feel free to use that first version, the palms on the back of the hips, or the harder version is we touch the thumb and first finger, hold that a few inches behind the hips, so we're not using our hands to help support us, then squeeze your glutes, push the hips forward, lean back, tuck the chin in, reach through the crown of the head, find your whole body like a strong arch bridge. Take a couple breaths. You might start to notice a little bit of shaking here. Hold, if it's challenging, it's supposed to be. This one's not meant to be fun. And we're going to come forward and swing the arms, releasing the upper and lower back. You can let out a sighing breath as you do that. And then we'll roll back up. 
pause and notice how you feel. And then one last repetition, either the hands on the hips or a few inches behind. Just flex the glutes, hips forward, chin back, reach through your crown like you're trying to create a long curved line from the heels up through the spine and out the crown of the head. Hold and breathe through your nose. If they're shaking, it's a good sign. Your body's reintegrating. And then do a little bounce, folding forward. <sighs> Release some stress as you clear tension there. Come back to neutral. And we're going to do a full body shake, standing upright. So start to use your lower legs and feet to bounce, and then just relax the rest of your body. Letting your muscles shake and bounce. Letting your head nod, your wrists flop, your shoulder blades slide up and down, your tailbone bounce up and down. In particular, use this to relax your lower back and your neck and shoulders. Then we'll come back to neutral standing. Notice how you feel again. Take a deep breath. From here, we're going to move into some Qigong flows that bring us into a state of mindfulness in motion and build our chi, especially the roots of our chi, into the earth. Let's take our right hand across the lower back, our left hand by the forehead. We're going to shift our weight left, turn left, fold down, form the arm into a scoop, shift our weight to the right, stand back up, looking at the palm, then shift to the left, turning the palm away, then fold again, like we're scooping up water with the arm. We shift to the right, come up, Turn the palm away from us as we shift and turn to the left. And we turn that into a little flow. With our breathing, we inhale across from right to left. Exhale down like we're scooping water from left to right. And inhale right to left. So again, I'm mirroring you here. Focus on the weight shift here, the turn of the hips. The release of the low back and start to use those slow breaths and slow movement to bring your mind into your body like water soaking into a sponge. Let's switch the arm slowly. Left hand across the low back, shift right, scooping down, across, Come up on the left, looking at the hand, then the palm rotates as we shift right. Exhale, scooping like we're standing in a lake, scooping up water. And then inhale like the water is pouring down the arm and down the back, relaxing our muscles. Enter a state of mindful flow. Our body is the perfect place to calm the chitter, chatter of the mind. The body doesn't think, it just feels. So get in touch with that feeling awareness. Feel your legs strong on the earth like roots. Let's bring ourselves back to the center. Step our feet a little narrower, about shoulder width. And then we're going to push one hand over the other. Hand pulling back pulls back by your ribs. The hand pushing forward pushes forward from the solar plexus. And we're going to shift our weight to the side of the hand pulling back. And we're focused here on turning in the qua. The qua is like the bikini line or the groin. Basically, we're turning the pelvis without turning the thighs. You notice if you look at my pants, there's a little fold that happens. We call this folding the claw. So it's just a little turn outwards of the pelvis as we shift to that side. Here our breathing is one exhale for two pushes, one inhale for two pushes. So exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. And this one, still a mindful movement, slow breathing. There's a little different intention here to push the chi through the tendons. 
let's feel like we expand those tendons and fill up with chi, fill up with breath as we hold the tree posture, arms like we're holding a tree, hugging a tree, feet about shoulder width, a powerful Zhenzhuan exercise from Qigong. Zhenzhuan means tree standing. Here we fill up with chi, breathing light and energy all around us like a tree. Just allow the energy to animate your body. Our crown floating to the sky, the chin slightly tucked back, tailbone dropping to the earth, lower back muscles relaxed, knees soft, toes and fingers gently spread. We open up all the fascia throughout the body. Then we come down to a lower position, growing the roots deeper, palms at your sides, facing towards your thighs, armpits expanded like a tennis ball is under the armpit. Still feel the crown reaching up, the tailbone sinking, fingers and toes spread, knees like a basketball is between them, pushing them apart. And feel the strength and integrity of the body as though all the fascia, the elastic tissue of the body is being animated by the flow of bioelectricity. It's like we're being held in this shape more and more by the flow of chi and less and less by the tension in the muscles. We call this the chi filling the huang and the huang supporting the chi. Just breathe naturally here with your lips closed. Finally, we'll raise the hands up, cross the centers of the palms over the top of the head, and then scan downwards down the center line of the body to the lower dantian, the center of gravity for women, the area between the navel and the pelvis. Centers of the palms cross, we exhale, scanning down through the body. Inhale, floating the hands up, crossing, exhale. Use the hands to guide your attention from the crown, down through the forehead, the throat, the chest, solar plexus, dantian. Inhale, exhale, scan down. And then hold the hands in front of the dantian. Just hold your awareness there, find your breath, moving deeply to this lower abdominal space. And fold one hand on top of the other, touch the tips of the thumbs, the monk holding the pearl, still centering our breath and attention at this lower field. anchoring the mind, stabilizing the life force. Finally inhale, touch your palms together, bring those behind your neck. Exhale, a chi brush down your chest. Inhale, brush around your waist to your low back. Exhale, brush down the back of your legs. Inhale, brush up the inside of the legs. Back to the belly. Just breathe naturally. Again, inhale, raising up, touch the palms. Exhale, brush around the base of the skull, down the sternum. Just helping the smooth flow of chi, life energy through the body. Inhale, waist, low back. Exhale, back of the legs. Inhale, inside of the legs. Breathe naturally, hands to the dantian. Feel your breath at the lower abdomen again. And start to circle the belly, consolidating the chi, storing it at the lower dantian. Moving energy, blood, attention through our internal organs. Center below the navel. And bring your palms in prayer. Touch your sternum. 
And with whatever good state of mind or energy we've cultivated here, just set an intention. What do we want to do with it? How are we going to spend this energy throughout the rest of our day or evening? Whenever you're ready, let go of the big sigh. Do this routine a couple times a week for a couple months to see if it helps with any knee pain or other lower body issues. And make sure to check out my other videos coming out this in this next couple weeks. If this video has already been out for a couple weeks, just look in the description below for the links to those. And of course, you can always go to my website, nickloffrey.com, for more about my instructor certifications, retreats, and other training opportunities.